Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to talk about uh, Cutter Comp, G41, G42, and the different ways that that works with the Bobcat software. So I have a sample part set up here, and uh, I'm using a, an advanced pocket to remove the material from the outside, and then I'm going to come in with a, a profile finish. Now, when we edit our feature here, you're going to see under... Uh, patterns you have a couple of options for compensation you have system compensation left uh, and by default it's going to be set for left uh, because when you're clockwise cutting offsetting to the left uh, is to the outside uh, for climb milling and when you're counterclockwise cutting offset to the left uh, is the correct size for climb milling so by default by default the software is set up for climb milling so when you look at compensation so any chain that you select it's always going to default to left and then you can change what direction you're going to cut in but when you have compensation there's two different uh, options you have system compensation and you have machine compensation now system compensation is used to uh, have Bobcat do the offset and by default it's set up that way Bobcat does the offset and there is no machine compensation so when we compute this and we look at our profile you can see how uh, the let me blank out the pocketing toolpath you can see how the profile toolpath here let me just change the color to a different color uh, the pro t uh, the profile toolpath is in green and what the software is doing is looking at the size of the cutter and offsetting for half of it so when we look at the code for this let me uh, turn uh, let me uh, pick a just a generic uh, post here and then uh, let me uh, turn this feature off and then let's post the code so when we, when we look at the code here you're gonna see in the G code we're not going to have a G41 or a G42, and um, we do see a diameter offset, but we don't have any cutter comp in here, because system compensation means Bobcat offset for the cutter. Now, if we come back in here and we edit this, uh, this patterns page, one of the things that we can do is we can let Bobcat offset for the cutter, and we can add a G41 or G42. Now, when you do this, this isn't going to change your... Um, it's not going to change your profile toolpath, okay? Uh, it's still going to be offset for half the cutter, but when you get into the code, you should expect to see the cutter comp, uh, G41 or G42. Now, when you get in here, you're not going to see G41, G42 at this point because we haven't set up a lead-in and lead-out. And if you don't use a lead-in and lead-out, then you're not going to see cutter comp posted. So, just because you set the pattern to cutter comp doesn't mean it's going to post it because your machine typically is looking for a line arc movement so once we go into our leads and we say a circular lead in and lead out and we recompute that now you can see in blue here this is our lead in and lead out when we post our job now that we have a lead in and lead out we should see that we have our g41 here now the diameter value is set up here sometimes you need g41 and the d value on the same coat uh, same block but that's all done by your post processor the point is is you're going to see your cutter comp now that you're using a lead in and lead out okay so in this sample we've let bobcat off offset for the cutter and we're allowing for the machine to offset for the cutter now if you think about that if you go to your tool table on the control and for your D value you're you have the control compensate for half the cutter then you're offsetting not Bobcat is already offset for your cutter and now your machine is offsetting for your cutter so you're gonna be really far out uh, typically when you run it this way when you let Bobcat offset for the cutter and you're running cutter comp they're gonna call that wear compensation and really the diameter value that you're setting at the control to look at for offsetting is to adjust the wall thickness now why wouldn't you just let the machine offset uh, the profile completely you can do that but sometimes on the machine uh, you're gonna get inverse radiuses because of the math you know the control has to offset for the cutter and sometimes it fails so we give you different options to accommodate for that okay if we come back in here and we go to our patterns and we turn Bobcat off and we say you know we we don't want Bobcat to offset for the cutter but we do want the machine to offset for the cutter we turn system compensation off and then we run machine compensation 
Let's recompute that. Now you can see the path that's created on the screen is showing just the, the net shape, you know, the profile that we've selected. It's not showing the tool being offset because that offset is being handled by the control. If we post up our code here again, you're going to see our G40, uh, G41 in this example because we're, we're cutting around the outside. So that's a pretty fundamental concept that you need to understand when it comes to Bobcad and cutter compensation. Uh, either you have Bobcat offset for the cutter and have the, no offset at the machine, or you have Bobcat offset for the cutter and an offset at the machine, or you have no offset from Bobcat and an offset at the machine, or you can turn them both off, okay? So that, uh, that should clear things up. The other points, you know, when it comes to your leads, we did add some additional lead types here. Uh, this blend one is pretty popular. This is a teardrop design. Uh, you may want to know how to change where that start point is. Um, you have a default start point for the feature, but then you also have a, a start point for the profile operation itself. You can right click on this and choose modify and then change its location. Once that location is changed, you can go ahead and recompute that feature and now you can see the lead in and lead out has changed there. Okay. If there's any questions or comments about this video, uh, feel free to reply back to the thread, the Facebook or the YouTube page. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.